Today we're going to talk about how to join email groups and how to forward your email address to your gym's email. It's a lot of email, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's get started. Go to gemsdaa.com. This is our new launch pad, our launch to a page for the entire school. Students, teachers, admin will come here whenever they need something. Now click on groups at the very top. It will take you to this page. All you have to do is type in using your Google username and your password. This will take us to our DAA Google Apps group page. Now to find your groups that you need, click on Browse All. And you'll see there are a lot of groups in there already. There are a few though that you definitely must join. The first one is All Staff. Go ahead and click that one. Now you will see a button at the top in blue said, that says join group. Go ahead and click that. Leave the settings as they are and just go ahead and join the group. Anytime somebody sends an email to that group, it will go to your Google Mail, which will be forwarded to your Jim's Mail, which we'll show you how to do in a minute. There are other groups you need to join. Here's a list of them. Your division, your grade level, and your department if it's applicable to you. Now let's talk about forwarding our mail. So click on mail at the top. We want to forward. It's very easy to do this but there are a few steps so please pay attention. We're going to click on the settings button and we're going to come down to the settings tab. At the top, you'll notice there are a lot of different tabs. General labels in box one is forwarding and pop slash IMAP. That's the one we want. At the very top of that page is add a forwarding address. Go ahead and click that and type in your Jim's email address. And click next. It'll ask you if you want to proceed. Go right ahead and click OK. Now Google has an added step of security and they have sent a verification code to your Jim's email. So go back to jimsdaa.com, click on apps, and click on the Jim's email button. Go ahead and sign in. And there is the email. I want to click on that and it looks kind of dense but just find the confirmation code. I'm going to highlight, copy it. I'm going to come back to my Google Mail. Let's see, where is it at? There it is. And I'm going to paste it in and click Verify. It says it's been verified. Fantastic. One more step left to go. Well, two more steps. I have to click Forward a copy of incoming mail to my GEMS one. I have to select that. And to make sure that all of these settings stay at the very bottom, there is a Save Changes button. And it's very important for you to click that. If you don't, you will have to do this all over again. And that's it. Email is now forwarded to my Jim's mail. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.